What is up you guys? So today we are doing a very fun, girly, very different for me, out of my comfort zone, stepping out of the box here, Valentine's Day look. We are doing a smoky winged liner with a bright red lip and some fun little gems on the eye. This is a huge trend that's going on, so I really wanted to give it a go, and I actually love the way it came out. I will personally be spending Valentine's Day by myself, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to create a really fun look something cute but still feminine, a little bit sexy, kind of edgy, you know, the whole mix. So if you guys are in need of a fun Valentine's Day look, then I got you covered. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting with my brows today and I'm going to be using the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. So this one I believe is in the shade Brown Light. So basically what I'm doing is taking the deeper shade on probably the outer two thirds of my brow and then I'm going to take the lighter shade and just fill in the front so that way we get that nice ombre look to our brow with the front being the lightest and then the tail being the darkest. This is obviously personal preference but I really like the look of like a dark brow with light blonde hair because my roots are really dark and plus we're going to be doing kind of a darker eye so I always prefer a more bold brow just to kind of balance out the entire look. So then to carve out the brow and set our eyelid and prepare it for eyeshadow I'm going to be taking the P. Louise Rumor 2 base and I'm just going to take this on a flat synthetic brush to initially carve out my brow. Then with a more fluffy brush, I'm going to take a generous amount of this all over my eyelid. And with this product, you really wanna use like patting, tapping motions rather than swiping because the more you work the product, the tackier it's going to get. And that's kind of what we want. And I'm gonna drag this pretty far across my nose and under my eye as well. So for our eyeshadow, we're gonna do a Mm, pretty like decently simple look. This is a little bit more blending and a little bit more technique than a lot of the other looks I've done on my channel, but again, it's really easy if you just take your time and go really slow and try and be neat. So I'm just gonna be using my Anastasia um, Soft Glam Palette because I just think that it has everything that I need in there. And plus, I feel like a ton of people have this in their collection. Um, you don't need this exact palette to complete this look. Just some similar shades. Um, you can make it more cool tone or more warm, whatever you guys prefer. Um, but I'm just gonna use this because it's an all-in-one super easy palette for me. I'm gonna start by taking this color here called Burnt Orange, and I'm just taking this on a really, really fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M504. And I'm just gonna start by working this into my crease and really blowing it out just like a really nice wash of color and to get this shade really nice and diffused I am using big circular motions just to blow it out really nice we don't want any harsh lines yet I'm just going to take the color tempera in here for now um, I might go back in with another highlight shade, but I really just want to kind of clean up that brow a little bit. And this isn't a super shimmery color, but as you can see, I'm bringing it pretty far down. So that way you get that nice gradient. This also helps if you brought your crease shade up a little bit too far towards the brow. You can always go in with a lighter tone shadow and it kind of works a little bit like an eraser. So for this part, I'm actually gonna go in with old school scotch tape. I used to do this all the time and haven't done it in forever, but I wanna do this to show you guys how easy it can be. It looks a little challenging, but if you wanna use scotch tape, you can make it super, super simple. You don't have to freehand this wing. So don't stress, you don't need a ton of like really complicated technique to get this right. You can just use a little scotch tape. I put it on the back of my hand and then lift it up just to get some of the stickiness away because this is a really delicate area you don't want to put scotch tape directly onto this very thin skin here so I'm just going to place this under my lashes my bottom lashes and just kind of angle it how I want I like to keep my wing going pretty high up I guess you could say because I want my eyes to look really lifted I do have smaller eyes so I want them to look lifted and kind of bigger on the outer corners I mean I don't match it to the end of my brow that would be too high but I also don't like a flat wing like this I like it kind Kind of like in the middle going that way so it just gives you that nice long cat eye almond shape for the liner i'm going to be using this inglot gel liner in the shade 77 it's just a black liner um mine is very dried out so i'm gonna take a little bit 
of a beauty oil and normally I would do this with a Duraline but I don't have any up here I think it's downstairs in my kit so basically I'm just gonna take like the tiniest tiniest amount of oil and I'm just going to drop a little bit in here just to kind of moisten I hate that word but like moisten it up a little bit and then I'm just going to start mixing it in and you can see I'm getting a nice gel consistency now I've revived it and I'm just taking this on like a pencil liner brush you can use an angle brush whatever you feel comfortable using um, but basically I'm just gonna go ahead and start to carve out that wing a little bit for this look I would recommend going on the thinner side because we are gonna blend it out and smoke it out you are gonna have a lot of black smudging so in order to kind of keep that contained and keep it looking like it still has a shape and a little bit cleaner I would recommend going with a thinner wing than you would normally wear on its own and I'm only taking this three quarters of the way in I'm stopping like where my iris kind of stops so the white of my eye the white of the inner corner of the eye I'm not putting any color there if you put it too close to the corner of the eye when you're smudging it out and all that stuff you're gonna really close your eyes off because it's gonna be really dark in the inner corner I prefer to leave it pretty light and bright and you can always add more shadow there if you do want to deepen it up so now I'm gonna begin smudging out this liner I let it dry a little bit so it's like tacky it's not super super wet because you're just gonna make a mess then and for this my favorite brush is this morphe doesn't have a number on it but it's this really tiny thin pencil brush this is perfect for detail smudging this is perfect for detail smudging and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cypress umber this shade right here so I'm just going to start to kind of mess it up a little bit, I guess. Then I'm gonna take a different pencil brush and I'm actually gonna dip into Rustic here. And I'm just going to layer that on top and just continue blending everything out. All right, so once everything is nicely blended and you remove the tape, you should have this really nice smoky looking wing. I think this looks so good. I love it. It's really soft, but like sexy still. And it's gonna look even better when we complete the entire eye look so I'm just going to jump off camera and finish my other eye just to save some time and I will be right back once both eyes are finished I'm just going to clean up any fallout and quickly apply a layer of mascara just to ensure everything is nice and black so now for the fun part we are going to be using some gems today I'm excited I've never done this with a makeup look before I've never used like rhinestones or anything like that but it's a huge trend right now and I really wanted to try it out so I just ordered these rhinestones from Amazon they they actually come with six different sizes I think these were like 10 bucks they're dirt cheap so uh, this is what they look like you have really really tiny ones I think these are four and it goes all the way up to ten so I'm thinking that I'm going to be using these six I think these are six four five six seven I don't know um, these kind of like middle sized ones here you can't even really see anyways any gemstones you have you can get these from craft stores you can get them online at Amazon I will try and link these down below so you can see which ones I purchased but I literally just typed in like nail gems or tiny rhinestones into Amazon and you get pages of them so I just have them in this little like old lash container here you can see how tiny they are I wanted to use rhinestones but it still be like really subtle and girly and not like over the top like rave makeup um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of lash glue and I'm actually just gonna take this kiss strip lash adhesive this one is latex free if that's a concern of yours and I'm just going to actually dot a little bit of this in the lid so that way I kind of have a place to dunk all these these guys got my trusty tweezers hopefully I can pick these up oh my god they're so tiny and I'm just gonna dip oh this is an interesting process and I'm just going to apply it to oh yes I love that it's just like a little sparkle so I'm basically just dunking each one into a little bit of lash glue then applying right to my eye it's really actually quite simple for lashes I'm actually going to be switching it up today these are the Huda Beauty number 23 lashes so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim these and apply them using my usual house of lashes glue all right so this is what the eyes are starting to look like I just have the gems kind of going like in an arch following the shape of my brow and then just some really fluffy lashes I am 
loving this. I want to move on to base and then we'll come back and finish our eyes. So for primer today, I'm going to be using the Smith & Colt Black Charcoal Primer. If you didn't see, I did just upload a video using this in a first impression and wear test. And I actually did really like it. So I want to keep using it. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's actually black. It's like a charcoal mattifying situation. So I'm really going to focus in just like press this into my t-zone for foundation today i'm going to be taking my ysl all hours foundation and i have mine in the shade warm toffee and i'm just taking that on a real technique sponge that i just cannot get clean for the life of me i just washed this and it's just so stained um, so I'm gonna take probably like two pumps. This is a little bit more yellow tone because the tan I have on is a little bit more olivey based. So this does have more like olive yellow undertoned. While I'm sitting here, I am gonna take a little bit of my Laneige sleeping mask. Prep my lips a little bit. For concealer, I'm gonna be taking my Benefit Boying Concealer and this is in the shade number three. And I'm just going to apply a generous amount under my eyes. And of course, when you're blending this out, just be really careful around that eye makeup that we just did. You don't wanna mess up the wing. So I like to take the flat side of my sponge and just press it right up against the line. For powder, I'm going to be just dipping into my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes and anywhere I placed that concealer sealer you guys know the drill for bronzer I'm gonna be taking the Becca sunlit bronzer in bronze Bondi and I'm not gonna be doing a contour or anything today just because I want this to be kind of soft and feminine so I don't want anything too structured or carved out I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth back into my face with this powder and this does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it's just gonna make us really nice and glowy and look really healthy. I am gonna quickly contour up my nose using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, I do have a video where I show you how I contour my nose lately, um, so I'm not gonna go into depth with this. I'm just gonna kinda do it really quickly. For blush today, I'm gonna be dipping into this BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. So I think I'm going to take this middle shade here mixed with a little bit of this orangey shade just to warm up the face a little bit. And these are pretty pigmented. So I do go a little bit heavy handed with my blush, but that's because it wears really quickly on me. So I always apply a little bit extra. I'm just gonna take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And then for highlighter, I'm just going in with my Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Brilliance Highlight Palette. And I'm gonna take this shade here, Charmed. And I'm just taking that on almost like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. It is a face brush, but any, any highlight brush you have will work. And I'm just gonna kind of apply this in a circular motion. I'm actually gonna spray this with a little bit of Fix Plus to wet it. I mean, this stuff is just like beaming. So to finish up our eyes, it's gonna be super, super simple. We're not doing anything too crazy. I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into the shade Cypress Umber here, this chocolatey brown color. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of that in the outer corner to just kind of connect the wing to the bottom lash line. You can even take a little bit of burnt orange to help that blend if you need to. I'm gonna take a little bit of tempura and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner here and then apply a little bit of bottom lash mascara. I'm just using my Benefit Roller Lash. It's Valentine's Day, we're gonna go with a bright red lip. So I'm just gonna go in with this Essence Lip Liner in the shade Blush Red and then I'm going to apply a liquid lip on top. For my liquid lipstick, I just went in with this Dose of Colors, what color is this? Um, extra Saucy. And it's a lot more red than it is in the tube. In the tube, it almost looks purpley, um, but it's definitely more of like a Merlot, like deep red. All right, you guys, so this is the final product. I love how this came out. I think it's so cute. 
so girly really fun very different but still like subtle not anything like too over the top you could of course sub out a nude lip or a gloss if that's something that you're more comfortable with but I just figured you know since I'm sitting here like let's not go all out let's throw on a red lip let's really bring it home here for Valentine's Day so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I can't wait to do more tutorials for you guys and I will see you in my next one bye